Games at QB here again. Yeah, and once again, I'm on my E75. Tier 9. Kiwi Tank. And I'm on Windstalk, one of the new maps. I haven't decided if I like this map yet, but we'll see. This is a tier 10 game, so I'm loading gold to start with. So I'm letting some of our bigger tanks go in front of me. And I see someone's trying to flank, so I decide I'll come and have a word. Here. Shot at me. Now I'm poorly angled here. Not, not, not good angling at all. Not side scraping or anything. They do have an artillery, quite a big artillery. And a little bit of um, issues with the you know, reticle on this. Um, this one. So I get to my side scraper position. I'm about to the shot from here. You'll notice that the uh, cursor seems to be uh, lagging when I'm on a, a tank. It's taken a while to actually snap to it. That's a lag between me and the server. So I've got two tanks here now. It's the force of bounce on the WZ. Force of bounce on E50. As you would have seen in my previous E75 video, this thing side scrapes like a demon. It really does. Yep, he fired a gold round through me there. And that was probably because of bad angling on the turret. Another shot at the WZ. Let's see if the WZ bounced again. E50 is only one, so she got anything through my armor. There's a little bit of revenge to with that E50. In fact, I don't think it was the E50 that was shooting me. Yeah, nope, no, that's the E50 that was shooting me. Shot the hill. Yeah, that's fine. We have a R E50 and IS3 moving up to flank these guys. So it's going to take the pressure off me a little bit. But that E50 again shoots straight through the front of my uh, turret, I think. Or maybe you can see a little bit of my um, side sticking out. So I'm not angling this very well, but mainly because I'm trying to stay away from the artillery. If I side scrape properly here, uh, it makes a very big target for artillery. Now our E50 has gone to attack the WZ but the WZ is now running around our E50. At the moment there's not much I can do unless the WZ sticks sticks out through that gap. He does. <laughs> so let's take him out. And now our IS-3 is moving now. Quite a close game. Uh, only, uh, well, in fact it's even now. Our guys are ganging up on a T95 that's around the corner. And we're one tank down. Now I've just noticed that our town's collapsed and we've got five enemy tanks in town. Now our uh, Waffle Tractor, Tier 8, has also decided this, and he's retreating as well. I'm not sure whether our artillery, our artillery has actually spotted this. If it has, he should be moving away from where he is. Now I've been spotted by that IS-3 in the middle, so they know I'm going back. I don't have many hit points, so I'm going to have to be quite careful here. You can see there's got an ST1 moving, oh maybe it's an STI, huh? I'm not sure. And IS, IS3, not too worried about the IS3, ST1 I am. Pretty good tank that. So the waffle tractor's up above me, behind me and above me. IS-3 um, and he is a really good he, he does really really well and you know, the IS-3 is firing HE it's probably not a bad plan because he's not going to penetrate me most likely with um, AP lost sight of the IS-3 so I'm back up to try and get another shot but 
Waffle Track to take some out. As I say, the Waffle Track played a really good game here. Um, I must have a look at that position he's sitting in because uh, it's excellent. <laughs> he took a little bit of damage, but overall he did really, really well. With, uh, basically, he's, he's taking shots, but uh, doing some good damage. Unfortunately, our artillery didn't move, and he's just been killed by the SDI. A 9 all. And it would appear that the JPZ-100 and the Waffle Tractor may have gone back to uh, their base to defend. Uh, so I thought I would have seen them by now. I've still got KV-4 and I can't get a shot, but I've only got uh, 249 um, health left. So I decided to uh, go around and help with this IS-3. Waffle Tractor's taken out the um, KV-4, so this side's pretty pretty good now. Uh, the SDI seems too scared to come out, and <laughs> I don't blame them. Our E100 found their tier 9 waffle tractor. I'm going to get a nice shot to the side of this IS-3. So do. Spoil the state. Up to that point, he was doing okay, and now our IS-3 is uh, a lot more confident that he can do stuff. We surround and kill him. So our waffle tractor on defence is on three kills. This STI's uh, got a few problems now. So they've still got an STI somewhere, which is in front of me. They've got a JPZ E100, which is either in town or gone back to their base. And, uh, their artillery uh, Leopard 3 racing up on the STI. And the waffle tractor takes them out. So that was pretty good defence by the Waffle Tractor, and if you look, he's uh, taken a bit of damage, but did really well. Without him, I think they would have probably gotten capped. I don't think I would have stopped them. So, it's time to push down to their base. Six against two, but one of them is at E100. Yeah, one of our teammates says the E100 is at six percent. It certainly makes it a heck of a lot easier than if he was at 100. Just sped it up a little bit, trying now. did say, suggest that we should attack together, um, but the IS-3 and the T25AT decided to go on by themselves. The GW Tiger P in the artillery gone. IS-3 spotted the GPZ, and sure enough he's not well at all, 161 hit points, but he does have very good armor. Tiger P, but can't quite get a shot at him. Oh, there he is, reversing into my range and finish him off. Now I should, I, I did switch to uh, H HE at this stage. Just waiting for a reload. Shot, do 16 points of damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I should have stacked a gold in front of him. 16 points, better than nothing. For my reload. And bounced. Yeah, so, and the old theory of switching to AP, not always the best. So I've switched back to gold now. Uh, and our awful tractor takes him out. He got a good uh, number of kills in the end. Um, and it was all around pretty good game. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.